what are you focusing on when it comes to healthcare? When it comes to healthcare, I'll, I'll mention quickly some of the things we do. We train them on clean water, on prevention of malaria, but our main focus area is the chigas. Mm. The chigas is a dust flea that really affects most of the people out there, since there are many, mm. the percentage is so high. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the mostly affected people are kids between one year to nine years. Mm. So this is a dust flea that eats into the body. Why, why the children versus the grown-ups? Simply because of their flesh is so weak, so thin, mm. and uh, the fleas can easily eat into that penetrate into that and lay eggs mm. yeah, and produce more chigas and so yeah and it affects more 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 children do the eggs are they laid inside their skin inside their bodies yeah that thing's laid inside the body and grows like like a small ball mostly the the toes the legs the sole of the feet and the fingers and uh, when it gets to the worst stage, the victim has to just sit most of the time. He's not walking. It eats even the bottom of the victim. So it gets so bad. This is what happens when the, the victim is so badly eaten. Uh, the bones tend to bend. So the, 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 the victim has to walk with his legs like they are apart like this. He cannot walk straight because it's painful mm. and he has to 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 like do a calculation in their work mm. so they bend like that and it's so bad and the, the, the toes rot because of the mm. the chigas eat into the flesh together very close and causes the, the body to rot it's just un, unimaginable yeah how does it impact the actual daily life of the children they cannot go to school they cannot, uh, especially when, when it eats into the toes, they cannot feed well because it's so painful even. Yeah, most, of our, most of our foods are hot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they cannot eat with their mm -hmm. hands. They cannot, they cannot write. They cannot go to school. They cannot walk. Well, uh, but I mean, how pervasive is this? Is, is this a small part of the population? How many children are, are impacted by this? Millions of children are being affected by these sugars. Mm. We see this in schools, because mm. that's where we can now do our statistic, mm. a quick statistic of what's happening. In schools, we talk with the teachers and they give us like numbers, and uh, this is affecting like the whole of uh, the province, the provinces, mm. and the neighboring provinces. So they are like in millions, and the government is doing nothing about this. According to the statistics, we, we have around uh, 40 to 60% of the children suffering from this problem. Teachers are eagerly awaiting their jigger-infested students to come back to school, and principals are calling us daily to come. Our trained volunteers are planning their next jigger clinic, but only a lack of funding for supplies holds us back. Let our trained men and women be your hands, your feet, in the bush of Kenya and Uganda. And together we can cure every child for a mere $3 each. After the children are assessed, they will be taken to buckets of mild pesticides and will sit and soak their hands and feet to kill the living jiggers, eggs, and larvae. So the process continues of cutting out the jiggers. This is a very, 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 very terrible case we have ever come across. After another washing, we smooth on a soothing balm and wrap their feet and hands in bandages. Finally, they are sent home in new shoes, many wearing shoes for the first time. Our team will follow them and spray their huts, villages, and schools inside and out. By your prayers and support, thank you so much that Joshua can one day be happy again. Join our team. Go now to principlebasedleadership.org forward slash jiggers. That's principlebasedleadership.org forward slash jiggers. And may God bless you for your generosity.